YouTube. What's good? It's your boy Kisha Lives TV, and I'm back. And welcome to my quick five minute side angle breakdown. All right. And we're gonna get deep in breast, and I'm gonna show you my five minute quick side angle breakdown and help y'all get these sideways right. Currently, I am on a woofing session. It's not that long, it's probably about three weeks. My last cut was. April, I think April, I forgot what day in April, but this is what I'm working with right now. Um, so, when it comes to your sideways, and for today's video, we're gonna be using the Brazilian Fox. The Brazilian Fox is from SPI Styles. It is a bull bristle hybrid. And as y'all can see, my sideways are not completely at the shoreline, and that is because I was getting low tapers or I was getting low tapers when I went to the barbershop and I got a haircut. Stop getting tapers. If you want 360, if you want a full head of 360 waves, do not get the taper. It's not worth it, y'all. It's not going to work. So basically right here, this is what happened. You can let me tell your barber you want a low taper, they give you a low taper. What you need to ask for is a super now listen, a super baby low taper. That's the only way they're gonna understand because if you say a low taper, they're gonna give you a low taper. And this right here is, I guess what you call a low taper. So, and basically what I'm saying when I say low taper is all this area that doesn't have ways is where it was tapered at. But I am making progress slowly but surely. So sooner or later about, I don't know, maybe my next working session, I'm I'm aiming for by my next whiffing session, you know, I will have waves semi to the shoreline. So when brushing your waves, when you're brushing your sideways, the sides are always going to be tricky. So what you want to do is if you have a curved brush, you want to just, you know, you get, it's okay to hold your curved brush vertically. A lot of people think that vertical brushing is uncomfortable. They think that vertical brushing is a way not to go. They shouldn't do it. Vertical brush is 100% okay, whether it's a curved brush or a straight brush. So look, what you wanna do is, you wanna just brush straight down. Now this is for a 360 pattern, okay? Now with a 360 pattern, you can see the way that I'm brushing. Now, you might be like, okay, I can see how you're brushing, but what am I supposed to be brushing towards? You wanna brush towards your temple. Now you see that? See how I'm pulling my waist forward? You wanna brush towards your temple, or I would say, Temple to eye or temple, yeah. You wanna to brush towards your temple or your eye level. All right, so what I do is I pull, I pull them forward, all the way forward. And if I'm brushing vert, if I'm brushing horizontally, I do the same thing, okay? It's not rocket science, y'all. It's really simple, actually. And this is what's gonna help you get your side waves the way that you want them. So, now we're gonna to switch to the next side. Okay, so as you can see, we're gonna take the same concept, we're gonna pull them forward towards our temple. Now if you turn our brush horizontally, it works the exact same way. You just wanna pull it straight towards our temple. Okay. Now, this is what's going to make your sideways become the waves that you want them to be. All right. I'm going to pull them towards your temple. You see that? Or, matter of fact, if you didn't see you, just pull them towards your jawline almost. Okay. This is what's gonna help you get your sideways together. Now, I am using a soft brush only because after I do this video, I'm gonna be ragging back up, so I don't wanna decompress my hair too much because I am woofing. Um, 
what I would tell you to do is when you want to do this, make sure that you're using a hard brush and preferably a straight brush. Now, a curved brush is going to be perfectly fine because it's going to cup that side of your head and it's going to add, you know, more space. So you will be able to pull those waves down and you will get more out of it. But when you use a vertical straight brush, for instance, when you use a straight brush um, and you brush vertically, you can really pull those certain areas right you can pull those certain areas down okay and it will straighten those waves out more but another thing that i want to tell you is hard brushing is what builds your waves more compared to as i'm using the soft brush i would have to brush with the soft brush for at least an hour on each side in order to actually start seeing progress at this width and length so i am using the soft brush so pay attention to how i'm brushing but don't really pay attention to what I'm brushing with necessarily because if I was, you know, really focusing on building my sideways at this moment in time right now, I will be using the hard brush. I will pick up a hard terrain or brush or I will pick up, you know, this this brush from 360B high brush, this medium hard brush. So understand that. But guys, that was my, you know, quick little five minute side angle breakdown if you like this video make sure you drop a thumbs up comment any questions that you have down below comment any other video ideas i am going to be a lot more active on youtube now i'm probably going to be dropping at least minimum one video a day on youtube so without further ado make sure you follow me on instagram subscribe to the channel if you're new and i see y'all on the next one Fresh up out of cell block and fill up a arena. I'm turned up, you try and get your